Hi. Hello. So I'm Vandana, and this is Krishwar from the press team, and we'll be taking an interview yeah. today. Cool. So I just want to start off the interview by asking you. So how do you feel about college events? Because you'll be judging Melody. So are you excited? Yeah, I'm always happy to uh, check out what's happening in um, college culturals because uh, it takes me back to my college days. That was probably like 15 years ago or whatever. And uh, I think a lot of my um, career paths that I chose regarding any musical thing, the stems of it were definitely in back in college, you know, and thanks to college cultural events. Next slide. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited to see uh, the performance today. And uh, I hope that all the participants bring their A game. And I'm always happy to be impressed by <laughs> talent. Uh, yes. Yeah, so what are some of your biggest uh, musical influences? So many, man. I'd say guys like Michael Jackson, um, bands like Queen. Mm -hmm. uh, these are big influences. Metal bands, you know, like I used to really like uh, the grunge scene. So Soundgarden, um, Soundgarden, Pearl Jam. Um, when I was in Bangalore, Iron Maiden was the rage. Um, and I almost got to open for them with my college band. Um, and then a cappella used to like groups like Boys to Men in the 90s. I've always liked all kinds of Bollywood music because I used to watch at least a movie a day when I was a kid, uh, when I was growing up in Muscat. So whether it was like the old stuff by Shankar Jai Kishan or R.D. Burman oh. or Madan Mohan, these are oh. the kind of things I used to watch. Or even like, like 90s music directors like A.R. Rahman or um, like who else, Jatin Lalit, anything. Anything was a big influence to me. If it, whether it was Tamil music, if it was like guys like Ilai Raja, who were like uh, stalwarts in the scene. Um, singers, musicians, everybody, mm -hmm. the Bass Brothers, Keith Peters, Carl Peters on bass, or bassists like Jaco Pastorius um, in jazz, jazz fusion. So Charles Mingus on jazz, um, jazz, uh, soloists like Coltrane, Miles Davis, um, rock musicians, great songwriters like Bruce Springsteen. Uh, one of my favorite prolific guys is Prince. Prince is a big influence in my life uh, when it comes to music. Uh, yeah, all of this. Frank okay, Sinatra. So it would, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it would only be right to ask you, so what made you to choose bass as your instrument? Well, I've, I think... Uh, I, I play a bunch of instruments, but in this particular band, um, even in school, like Summer and I were in school together, I used to actually play uh, guitars and both of us used to play guitars, I used to play uh, lead, I used to play rhythm in school. Uh, mm -hmm. But in college, I mm -hmm. when I joined the band, there were already two, three guitar players. So then I, that like the natural thing is that there's a space usually for a bass player. That's how a lot of people start playing bass in college. Um, and I was always, uh, I had an affinity towards playing the bass guitar because it's, the bass. it's very groovy and I'm all about, uh, the groove when it comes to the groove, yeah. groove yeah. when it comes to music. Okay. So yeah, that is, that is very important for me particularly. Uh -huh. And, um, since I'm not a drummer, um, <laughs> bass is the closest thing that you can play to be, to keep the groove down. So yeah, that's why. And I've always been singing. So that's the other thing. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> so being a part of a renowned band and yeah. having an avid influence in the music industry. So how did the transition to the marketing field happen? <laughs> well, I was, that was my call. Like I didn't go to okay. music school, right? I just went to a business school and I, I worked in uh, different uh, jobs in Bangalore, particularly. I don't work oh, in any of those okay. things anymore per se, but I used yeah. to be. I used to work in marketing and sales and that was just something that was keeping me busy during the day and mm -hmm. back then in Bangalore most people used to have day jobs if they were doing gigs at nights uh, whether it was in clubs or it was in hotels or if it was in a particular okay. venue that had you know 
places to play original music. Mm-hmm. Bangalore was a good center, you know, people, you know, and the crowd used to get out, you know, used to support the local acts and they used to like to get out even today. Yeah. Yeah. You know, forgetting about the whole pandemic scene going on, if people were still getting out and if mm-hmm. um, if the local authorities allowed for it and uh, venues were thriving at, at that time. So oh, yeah, most people are good hub spot, yeah. Yeah, but Pune also, you know, because I used to come to Pune, Pune also. Yeah. yeah, there was this, there was this, uh, I had a very fond memory of taking part of in this contest called CRI, Campus Rock Idols. It was back in okay. 2006 or seven. And oh, okay. uh, yeah, like I said, like there was this contest okay. and the winners got to open for Iron Maiden. So the Pune band won and we came mm. second place. But yeah, that was, that was really nice because um, Pune, Manipal, um, Bangalore, so these are some of the places which had a, a big, mm big uh, student population you know yeah suratkal all these places yeah, you know yeah, they used yeah. to really come and watch out support uh, any rock music because they were really crazy about it and this was pre- before movies like rock on and like really hit it so the bollywood crowd didn't really know what rock didn't music really, was yes of course this is, my, this, is, this is the time before that so, so rock music was rock music yeah the rock music and metal <laughs> yeah so um, being business students, we would love to know if your management background has like somehow helped you in the music industry. Um, to be honest, no, it hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't matter, you know, like uh, the music industry changes. It's very nascent, like everything, like when it comes to intellectual property, the laws are being changed all the time. Um, people don't really know what works. Um, you have to be honest, you know, that is the truth about things like music, you know, these are emotional things, business, Mm. yes, it's good to have certain practices, whether you learn it in college, university, or pick it up uh, as through experience. Uh, A business acumen is, I don't think you can really learn it in school, you have to, um, you have to actually inculcate it as a discipline you know like people have disciplines about Mm -hmm. um you know like whatever fitness diet business acumen is also like that that these are practices that you pick up by knowing that okay where to like what do you do on a day-to-day basis to ensure that your business thrives like we are we are like pretty much like i we have like um we have an llp we have a partnership so it's like Nobody is putting any pressure on us. We're not with any label per se. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're independent. So if we, we relax and if we don't do any work, then we're not, we're the only persons who are going to suffer. Oh, of course. Yeah. Obviously. So running a business and having some business acumen comes with day to day practice of how to put some sort of discipline and routine in your lives when it comes to business decisions that you take. And this, when it comes to music, it's like, you know, like how you, uh, how much time you're putting in the practice, how much time you're putting in composing music, okay. uh, how much mm-hmm. time you're trying to make collaborations, make business deals, work for yourself, um, what you do at events, uh, how you make yourself uh, accessible through social media, et cetera, et cetera. So these are like business changes according to the nature of each business. So in music, it's like this it'll be different in some like other kind of uh, nature of business. So yeah, I think it is a very topical thing. Um, so back to the point, I didn't, I didn't learn anything in college. Man. <laughs> I just had a great time. So that um, sounds great to us. Yeah, yeah, I hope. I mean, it it, it depends, you know, <laughs> like, you know, it, it really depends. You know, I, I'm sure school is very different. College is very different than it used to be. It, yeah, to an extent, yes, yes, of course, yeah. Um, our associate sponsor, Stu Craig, wants to ask you, who would you like to give credit for what you are now? Parents, uh, parents, family, like my brother and hmm. my extended family. Um, the internet, for sure, because the internet has taught me a lot of stuff, like from the 90s. Of course, yeah. <laughs> TV and culture, yeah, for me, for sure. Uh, books, things like that, you know, like things that were outside my own uh, uh, accessible accessible stimuli, you know, like 
because I grew up in the Middle East and there was nothing going on. I lived a very sheltered life. So my only access to what the world was like was either through books, it was through internet. I'd say the internet because I, I was one of the first people to have an access in my age group. Um, so I had the internet since the nine, 97 or something. So I, I was oh, able to like, so, access. Yeah, yeah. So I was able to access a lot of stuff before a lot of people could. So including music or anything culture related. Yeah, so yeah, that and then, you know, um, it's it's easy to use your ears and listen and learn through music. So I think that I'm thankful that I've been able to have an access to certain kind of music and then um, meeting people experiences through that. That is very important. Um, yeah, that's it. And then uh, the fans for sure for, you know, because whatever you do at the end of the day, it depends on, especially as a musician, if you put out work, it's really up to your audience oh, to yes. like it or not. Yeah, you might like it or you might not like it, but like, you know, the audience really decides um, what they like and what they don't like. No, oh, well, thank you so much. Uh, we hope you have a great yeah. time judging Melody, the singing competition and that our participants meet all of your expectations. Absolutely. All right. And once good. again, we thank you so much for joining us. All right, cheers. Thank you. Have a good right, day. Thanks, thank guys. You, you too. Thank you.